Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little chit chat. Get ready with me. I got my makeup right here, and since we're just chatting for the video, I feel like we should just go ahead and get into it so the intro is not super freaking long. The biggest reason why I wanted to do a video like this is because 2023 is going to be a very big year for me, and I feel like some updates were in order too because I did do weeks of Vlogmas, which were really, really fun, and I am glad that I did that, but I feel like it got like super busy and I didn't like do a lot of like talking with you guys so I felt like an update was in order especially because I really haven't filmed since Christmas time which is insane because it's like what it's January 21st when I'm filming this so that's a long time without talking to you guys I literally cannot remember the last time I did like a get ready with me video on YouTube I feel like this used to be such like classic YouTube content and nowadays like nobody does videos like these it's just like vlogs but I don't know I feel like it's like fun and it's a nice way to catch up with you guys also I'm using the elf brow pencil all of the products that I use are gonna be in my Amazon storefront and that'll be linked down below life lately hasn't been too crazy Honestly, being sick three times within a month, I was sick twice during Vlogmas, and then I got a fever on January 2nd. Yeah, my luck is terrible. So I've been healthy, which is good at least. I've been working as usual, doing all that kind of normal stuff. This year specifically though, I really wanted to focus on TikTok and Instagram Reels and also YouTube Shorts. You guys have probably seen a little bit of growth on my channel because of me posting shorts. I feel like my shorts have been doing really, really well. Obviously, I still love doing long form content like this on YouTube. And honestly, it's some of my favorite to make too and like look back on for memory purposes. So I'm still going to be on YouTube a fair amount this year. I just don't want to overdo it, especially considering I do work another job and like I'm not like a content creator or influencer or anything like that full time. That would be awesome. And I hope that does happen in 2023 but we have to think a little bit realistically too like i was saying now i am focusing on a lot of other content so if you do want to see more content of mine and all that kind of stuff please check me out on instagram and on tiktok because i'm on there on the daily also like i said this is just like my everyday makeup routine like i'm not really doing anything crazy on the daily i don't even wear like concealer or anything like that i just really pack on that bronzer because i look like a ghost in the winter time and it's really cute and i love it so much another thing i wanted to share in this video was some of my goals for the year i wrote it down on good notes in my ipad and i figured i would just go over a few things that i want to accomplish one of my biggest goals this year is to move out of my parents house i have been living with my parents on and off since i turned i want to say like 20. i'm 21 right now my birthday's coming up in february which i'll talk to you guys about that in a little bit super excited to turn 22. right now it's looking like the goal is to move out by august which i feel really good about i live in a campus town so basically if you want to move out anytime that's like not august you're kind of screwed because if you move out in like march then like you're not really going to be able to find a lot for like the next year and you're kind of like forced to sign your lease or you won't have anywhere else to live unless you find like a really good place or you're buying a house it all just really depends on like where i'm at in that point in life and it's kind of hard to know that because i'm literally like in that not knowing phase of your 20s where you don't really know where you're doing or where you're gonna be at so that's really fun but i will be moving out this year and i'm super excited about that also if you've never tried these like elf blush palettes my favorite shade i don't know if it has a name it's in like the light uh palette i guess i don't really know my favorite shade is this like top left hand corner i guess if it's like facing you it's this one right here i don't know what it's called but it reminds me of the tart blush and exposed and it's so pretty so pigmented i really love these things they're literally like the perfect blushes my goals were like social media is concerned for the year i really want to hit 10k on all of my major platforms so youtube tiktok and instagram i want to hit 10k which i feel like is super attainable and i can do it if i just keep like being super consistent and putting myself out there a lot more i have around like 1500 on each of those right now like give or take a few like subscribers or followers so i feel like i could do it and i feel like if i get 10k then i'm on the way to making this like an actual job for me and that would literally be so freaking exciting because i honestly can't imagine myself 
doing anything else like this just seems like something so fun to do and it feels like right up my alley because it's like everything i love fashion beauty connecting with people it's literally like my thing and i would love to do it i also want to make my content like very like authentic to me um i feel like it's very important to me to be able to have an audience that i connect with as well but also make sure that they're not connecting with somebody who's not me. Like, I don't want to be creating content that's just, like, totally, like, not like myself and, like, nothing I'm into just because it's what's popular or it's what's, like, trending right now, especially if I have more people following me because then I just feel like I'm being fake. Does that make sense? I feel like that makes sense. Also, I put the bronzer that I'm using on my eyelids, and I'm also putting the blush shade that I use on my eyelids as well. Just a little bit, but I'm focusing it more like on the eyelid area instead of blending it up. Maybe I am blending it up. I don't really know. I just kind of slap makeup on at this point and just kind of vibe and do whatever. Wait, was that a sentence? I just like go with the flow with it you know what i'm saying i also just want to make sure that i'm like taking pictures of everything consistently the one feature on tiktok that they have right now where it's like the picture and then like you slide through like while music's playing has been helping me with that a lot because i've been doing like days in the life and i feel like last year i just didn't take that much pictures of everything so i want to make sure that i do that this year i'm a big memory girl if you cannot tell already okay sorry if things look a little different i had to change my battery but, like i'm not in the middle another thing that i'm kind of focusing on this year too is making Making more time for friends I feel like at the end of last year I got in a really bad rut where I was just like basically hanging out with my family and my boyfriend which isn't a bad thing and like it was the holidays so obviously that happens but I also don't want to make sure I don't have like wait that didn't make sense I want to make sure that I have my own like community of people that I can go to too unrelated to those people like my own friends my own hobbies all of those things and i feel like i have a lot of hobbies which is good but i also want my own group of friends too it's kind of hard too because like all my friends have been moving away the past few years because everybody's finishing college everybody's different ages everybody's moving to different places for work and stuff like that and i still live in my hometown so it does make it a little hard and i do have great friends it's just a lot of them have moved away so it's just putting myself out there more and trying to connect with people more outside of just trying to do it with social media and like my existing friends that don't live here because I feel like everybody just wants to be like a part of something whether that be an online community or like a community in real life I feel like I've done pretty good at that goal right now I basically set like new year's goals and then I also set like monthly goals on top of that in my little notes app on my phone and one of them was to hang out with a friend at least once a week and I've hung out with friends probably at least three times a week the past like three weeks which is pretty good and i'm pretty proud of that and mm, wait a second i haven't lost my own alone time and i've still been hanging out with my boyfriend a lot and same like with keeping up with, like my family and my friends who don't live here another big goal that i have for this year i guess regarding books because if you know me I do be loving to read if you can't tell by my shelf. But yeah, I want to read 12 books this year, which I feel like is a pretty good goal. You know, a book a month. That's pretty good. Do you see the mess I create with my mascara every single time? I was trying to like use this like little note card, which I use a lot of the time whenever like I put eye makeup on, but I don't do that every day. It's not that hard to clean up. Like you just get a like, Q-tip, whatever. It's not that bad. But like the most annoying part about it is just that like I can't like hold all these things at once and do it you know what i'm saying like how how do people do this like if you don't get mascara on your eye are you even using mascara like i feel like i get it on my eye every single freaking time another thing that i really want to do is make sure that i create like a really good morning routine for myself that i'm gonna like keep up with I feel like it's kind of hard sometimes like i literally go to work at like 2 p.m i work from like 2 to 6 monday through friday and it's kind of like weird timing you know what i'm saying yesterday me and my boyfriend like went to breakfast we had like a whole like basically day out of her morning and then i went to work and then like afterwards i just like chilled that night whatever and it just kind of like make me realize like how much time i really do have in the day and i could get like so much done before i even go into work and then i have like a lot of time after work too so like using my time more wisely is also something that i need to do and work on as well but creating a morning routine that i like i feel like is super important just because it sets off like the day on a good note you know and like waking up at a consistent time and all that stuff too trying to get more movement in all that good stuff just taking like better care of myself like i'm almost 22 years old and like 
I barely know how to cook anything. Like, I just don't really know how to take care of myself at all, you know? It's kind of bad, actually. Also, this Thrive Cosmetics mascara literally goes crazy. If you don't have it, you need to at least try it once in your life. It's so good. Also, putting some brown mascara on my lower lashes, just so it's a little less harsh. I have mascara literally all over my face. We love that for me. I feel like now is the perfect time to talk about my birthday. I'm about to turn 22 on February 2nd. I am very excited for this birthday. Um, normally, I feel like I don't make a big deal of my birthdays or celebrate my birthdays a lot. That's just kind of like how I grew up. But this year, I want to do that. Like, I want to make a big deal of it. I want to do like a whole birthday weekend. It's on a Thursday. So I'm going to be celebrating Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because you know what? Like, I'm 22. Like, that's insane. Like, I know it's not a big birthday, but, like, I feel like every birthday should be treated equally, you know? Like, it should all be about celebrating you and another year of life. Like, it's just so exciting. Also, I don't know. Like, birthdays for me aren't really, like, about the gifts. I just, like, want to, like, spend time with the people that I love and just, like, chill and, like, I honestly just want to date. Like, I told my boyfriend last night, I was like, I want, like, that entire weekend just to be, like, chill and, like, relaxing. Like, I want to get my nails done because I haven't done that in forever. I just want to have, like, dinners and just, like, celebrate with the people that I love. And then, like, for one day, I literally just want to, like, read. I just want to read, chill, and eat, like, good food. That's my vibe. We also thought about going to, like, a Google outlet because I really want to go to one of those. Um, it's like the bin store where you like literally get to like pick up items and they're like super super cheap But they have like a really great selection So I might do that too, but it's in Indianapolis, which is like a few hours away from us So we'll see not really sure about that one. Okay. This has been one of my like favorite lip combos recently It's the rare beauty um lip balm i guess they're just lip balms in praise they're tinted lip balms obviously it's like this pretty like mauvey color you'll see it whenever it goes on my lips but i think it's really really cutie it's super like moisturizing too it's it's a really good product i don't know why nobody's really been talking about these i also feel like i'm really washed out by this light so hopefully this video turns out okay also i'm gonna have to refilm it love that for me and then i feel like everybody knows about these right now but they're the fenty heat lip glosses I have the shade in gloss bomb heat, I guess. And it's just this pretty darker mauvey shade and I love it. And it's lip plumper and it looks so good on everyone. Lately, I've just been really into like the art and like idea of getting ready, doing your hair, doing your makeup. It just makes me feel so like good about myself. I've just been really into it. All right, this is the finished makeup look. Most days I don't even put on a lipstick or anything like that. If I do, it's literally like just this. So yeah, that's basically the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and enjoyed just kind of sitting here, me chatting with you all, updating you on my life. And yeah, let me know what kind of videos you want to see this year. I think it's going to be a pretty exciting year full of fun videos and content so yeah subscribe if you haven't yet and give a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye guys hope this light is not too bright gotta move it down a little bit did it get right in me am i not in the middle also this starts guys my murmur sometimes i feel like i'm boring i was actually yeah I don't know what else to say.